All right, today we're going with the most underrated dumbbell exercises. And yeah, we're gonna tick some people off because the truth hurts. Let's get after it. All right, keyboard warriors, get those knuckles warmed up because we're starting off with dumbbell flies. And I will gladly argue on the side of flies on this one because it's a phenomenal exercise. And yeah, if you do them the way I've seen some people show, which is a gross exaggeration where your arm is perfectly straight the entire time, it's a horrible exercise. But what kind of psychopath does flies with their arm perfectly straight? You don't do that on dumbbells. You don't do it when you're on cables. That's not a fly. That's like saying don't do deadlifts because they're too dangerous. You got the potential to exaggerate the lockout. The momentum will carry you backwards and you'll wind up with your head up your ass. Also, who decided that danger should be a deterrent? It's dangerous to shave your balls, but it's worth it. You really want to go on a date and have to come up with a fictitious story on the spot to explain away why your junk looks like the map from Jumaji? You see, the thing is, I was poor growing up. All my parents could afford to feed me was miracle grow. But if you can look past this or have some sort of weird infatuation with Chia Pets, I think we're going to make it. But there are things you can do to turn this already good exercise into a great one. First, err on the side of having more of a bend in the elbow than less. I'd rather it feel more like a barrel press to you than a straight arm fly. Because all you're trying to do is let that demo slightly drift away to put more stress on that chest and put more onus on it to stabilize and contract it up. Second, play around with the angles. That goes from everything from elbow position to height to the actual angle of the bench because everybody's gonna have an angle that they connect with the most. Third, take the top out. There's no stress from gravity at that point and most people use it as an excuse to rest. And finally, and probably my favorite tip, is utilize these in the middle or towards the end of your workout. Because you do these after you have a ton of blood in that chest, you will feel the most painful, disgusting stretch. Oftentimes I'll sit there and hold it for two seconds at the bottom, make sure I'm really connected to that chest, it's just tearing it up and then flex up from there. The connection is like nothing else. And if you're still worried about injuring your shoulder after that heart to heart, let me give you the cold hard truth. Most people don't injure their shoulder by doing dumbbell flies or even in the gym. 95% of shoulder injuries either come while you sleep or while you're vigorously masturbating in the shower. That's the truth. All right, let's go over some underrated dumbbell leg exercises because everybody needs a little more leg development, starting out with the reverse dumbbell lunge. Now, when you think about that, you probably go down the same rabbit hole I do. You think reverse lunge, and then you think 80s jazzercise videos, and then inevitably you watch that one video where the aerobics instructor farted on camera, but in actuality, these are a great exercise. And obviously there's a caveat because regular reverse lunges are riddled with flaws. So instead, we're gonna take the hand on the same side you're working and grab onto something. That way you can keep constant tension on that glute and hamstring, but also keep that off leg off the ground the entire time. It's a horrible experience. Another one of my favorites is dumbbell sumos. And I think most people make the mistake of comparing these to sumo deadlifts, which they're not. You're never gonna have heavy enough dumbbells to justify it. So instead, this is about really connecting with those glutes. And the way you do that is manipulating your form. Couple things to note here. First, this dumbbell is your new best friend. It's your counterweight. It's gonna allow you to really connect with those glutes. Second thing is most of the movement comes from your hips. Try to keep your quads out of it. So mostly you're gonna hinge at those hips. And then finally, during the negative, you're gonna drive back at a 45 degree angle and try to stretch those glutes as much as possible. Oh, last thing, if you do have access to a gym, make sure you go up to the mirror and do them in front of the benches just to make everybody else's life miserable. If you haven't got a chance to check out the 30 day program that will surely make you vomit, I'll leave a link below. But most importantly, watch these two videos next if you haven't and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.